everyone, and welcome back to Adobe Live. Uh, my name is Voodoo Val, and I get to host one of my friends today, Ted Chin of Ted's Little Dream. How are you, Ted? Good. How are you guys? <laughs> I am so excited. I think this is going to be so much fun because um, Ted is also doing some pretty awesome, fantastical, magical things today, which if you were hanging out on the previous stream, then hopefully you're in a magic mood. Um, so yeah, we're going to be working in Firefly, creating some magical worlds. Um, and would you like to tell us a little bit more about you and kind of the process we're going to be working on today? Yeah. So my name is Ted. I go by uh, Ted's Little Dream. So my work is kind of focused on fantasy serial art world, you know, uh, especially just something like magical or whimsical. I don't know mm -hmm. what's the correct word. So Both um, of those I think are yeah, good. Yeah. I like to daydream. I yeah. believe you guys love to daydream too, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so when I got invited back for Firefly, I was like, okay, I want to come up with like something fun and we can all do, not too difficult. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, let's design your own like you know uh, dream world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I was thinking that we can go on Fireflies and then we'll like type some keywords and then you know feel free to suggest any keywords or like um, some stuff you guys want to see. And mm -hmm. then um, I'll download it. We'll composite it in Photoshop. And then at the very end, well not to end, um, I'm gonna share the image to uh, Val and me. And then we both gonna try to pin over on top of it with our style. Yeah. And then you know just to see, show you kind of like a process how. Um, I usually come up with ideas, you know, and now especially with Firefly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it goes well. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be great. So why don't we just dive straight in and let me know in the chat, folks, if you have any um, questions about anything that we are going to be doing. Um, if you have any suggestions for um, any uh, portions of the generative process and stuff mm -hmm. too, like as we kind of make our way through it. Yeah. So uh, I'll kind of go over with like the usual process how I start um, with making the, the artwork, right? Because mm -hmm. usually, you know, we'll, we'll start with like a blank canvas. Sometimes you have an idea or concept, and sometimes you might just not sure what you want to do that day, mm -hmm. right? Um, so I usually um, I'll go use uh, Pinterest. Um, to kind of like typing like surreal fantasy world and then to see like and study from other great artists and illustrators just like oh what are some like cool elements that I like mm -hmm. and I'll like get a whole bunch of like uh, mood board you know yeah, from like yeah. the previous uh, stream we talk about how to create your own mood board with Firefly so it's kind of like the similar way and then now I just look around just like oh like I really like the gate or like you know giant mushroom or like stars and stuff like mm -hmm. those are the elements that I'm feeling inspiring today mm -hmm. right and one of the cool thing on Firefly is that um, when you see something that you like that somebody else created, you can also like click in and then go play around with yeah. um, their setting. You know, so uh, for me, this is a great way to study and just like, okay, like today I want to make a dream world that I have a maybe a portal on the mountain or tree, and then we go somewhere. So let's start from there. Right? Yeah, this is really really gorgeous, by the way. Yeah. Um, this is really cool. But I, I, I love what you're saying about like, you know, kind of looking around at what other people have made and letting it kind of carry um, your daydream off into great directions. You know, like what is it that you could do? And this is a great place to come for, for inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I'm super excited. Um, and I just want to say hello to the other folks in the chat who are excited as well um, because we have uh, Katarina uh, in the chat, we have Umicorn, we have Gareth, uh, I see Michelle, um, Livia, Reverb Mike, hello, Melissa, it's good to see you. Thank you all for joining us. I also see Stefan and Ryan um, in the chat. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for, for uh, coming in to hang out with me and Ted today. Yeah. Um, again, if you have any suggestions or anything you would uh, like to share, let us know. Um, Melissa is actually saying that she too loves a good mood board um, in Firefly. Um, and I think that that's, yeah, I, I definitely agree. Okay. These are cool. I know, where should our world start? The first world. Where, the first world? Any cool idea? Let's what we see. Type in I'm, I'm in a for? fantasy mood, honestly. So when you say like fantasy world, the first thing I think of is like, honestly like that, like scroll down scroll um, to, down. there was one, like the big city. This one? Yeah, but like, if it was like high fantasy, like in the forest, you in know, the forest, crazy, you know, like a yeah. big, a big castle mm -hmm. in the woods, uh, kind of like King's Landing in Game yeah. of Thrones, you know, like so something. In my process, mm -hmm. I usually go look for a, a foreground, background, and then oh, like okay, layer cool. it up. What about you? Like, what's the usual process? For me, I feel like I 
typically look for reference for the subject first, unless like, okay, you know, what uh, specifically do I want to create? Like if it isn't an object, cause I do a lot of um, item mm -hmm. illustrations. So like props um, or like, I'll look for reference for the subject of a portrait I'm painting. And once I have like the, the concept, reference for the concept that I want to showcase, then I will go look for um, reference for like uh, color palettes, mm -hmm. um, other pieces that showcase the same atmosphere I really want to convey um, in the piece and stuff like that. So like subject, color, atmosphere nice. for me personally. Okay. And what about you guys in chat? <laughs> yeah. For me, it's just I like, kind of like look around, just like, okay, like today I'm feeling like bright moon, happy mm -hmm. moon, or like something really dark and dramatic lighting. This is like really great because I feel like this could be either kind of vibe. Like it has like this vibe to it where you could look at it and think, oh my gosh, what a beautiful morning. But mm -hmm. you could also look at it and think like, this Ooh. is like, you know, Maybe this is the field that you see as you're traveling through the countryside during the zombie apocalypse. We don't know, <laughs> you know, it's really up to interpretation, but I feel like it's it's drama, you know, and it has a lot of great texture and stuff going on and you could go in a lot of different directions with it. Yeah. Um, I so. might go with warm tone, dramatic lighting and mm -hmm. wide angle. Cause mm -hmm. uh, that's when I started, I like to make it like really wide open. Yeah, so you yeah. Can, like stack on top of it. That's something that I noticed in your work often is you have like the breadth of work and what you show in your work is really amazing. Um, and, and if you guys uh, give Ted or Ted's Little Dream a follow on Instagram, you can really um, take a look at that is like there is so much space and like you really do create a world, you know, with a lot of a lot to take in. Um, and it's really cool to watch your process as you, you know, um, kind of build that large space. Yeah. Um, so I really like that one that showed up. So then mm -hmm. I clicked the show similar because I, I, I kind of want a nice uh, a curve. Yeah, the yeah. Forest, trying to see if, uh, what I can get from here, you know. Let's and that, that uh, show similar button is really great. Uh, and I find that I can refine um, great concepts and get exactly what I need um, when I use that feature. So very nice yeah. to have. I just realized something really cool because I was like, oh, I need to figure out how to find the perfect one. But I was like, wait, I can just use Jane Phil mm -hmm. to like mm -hmm. play around with it. For sure, <laughs> for sure. Um, also, we've got uh, Melissa in the chat saying, I agree with you both. Um, mood dictates a lot of my concepting. Great to start with a solid breakdown of subject, environment, and lighting. Yeah, like the the like the compound elements of the piece, you know? And I think that they could differ from person to person because it's like, what a, does your creative voice typically yeah. get drawn to? And those would be your basic building blocks, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Uh... I forgot there's like the logo will show, but I'm not trying to hide it. So what I'm gonna do is you could expand it from top right. I'm just gonna know? put it on the top layers. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Maybe a little bit smaller. There you go, perfect. Now I can just just ignore that left bottom corner. All right, let's see. So I wanna see if I can take this out. And I see now I need, do we say castle or do we need like a sky, right? Um, I feel like we could start with like a dramatic sky first and then, oh, ooh. That's perfect. Not bad, <laughs> gave, us, gave us a lot of depth right away. Yeah. So, okay. I like it. Do I wanna go with this ooh. one or this one? Honestly, I like all of them for different reasons. <laughs> I think that I mean, if we're gonna put the subject in the center, yeah, that is gonna get you know covered up anyways. Yeah. So something like you know with the trees kind of covering would probably be best. Yeah, I'll say because like usually I'll have. Let me see if we can just pin on this. So usually I will have like a subject right here, you mm -hmm. know. So like it doesn't really matter what's behind it. Yeah. Um, but if in my like a different situation where I need something like further down, this is like perfect. Cause you could also do like a, a yeah, like a long castle on the side. Yeah, cause I can put something here, right? 
you know? It's like, yeah. give you that depth of feel. So, um, let's see, maybe we'll go with something closer today. All right, let's go with that. Cool, all right, now we need a sky. Do you know if we could, can, you can use gym fill on this, right? Oh yeah. On the Firefly. Yeah. How do you do that again? Um, you could just select like in, um, up there, you could go into ah, the editor. right here. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, but it doesn't expand the canvas. You could select, like if you, well, I mean, you could you could expand with gen fill um, in Photoshop if you snag it and throw it in there, but you could also um, maybe generate a dramatic sky to throw in and combine them, sort yeah. of like you combined the images in our previous stream together, because that would be a cool <laughs> one um, to do as well. A lot of, a lot of techniques to approach. Okay, so let's see, Dr sunset, maybe? Yeah, like a yeah, dramatic a sunset. sunset. Sorry, I'm a little bit sweaty. <laughs> That's okay, it's, it, gets, it gets hot under all these lights, it folks. It gets... It's actually hot outside today, and mm -hmm. I wear my hoodie, so just like. <laughs> it's a very oh. stylish hoodie, though. The things we do for fashion. I know, yeah. gotta, gotta wear my anime mm -hmm. stuff. Let's see, photo, well, we'll do landscape. And then maybe digital art too. Let's see. If you guys have any other cool idea, let me know too. Uh, I'm think. Ooh. ooh, that gave it. You know, I didn't expect it to give images over water. So maybe we should do like forest, forest. images. Because yeah. I think too that like you're gonna get different light interactions when it's bright light over water because there's no True. there's yeah. nothing around, you know? It's Which kind of style. it could still work, but something to consider. Um, ooh. ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bring in the drama for real. I like that a lot. Which one do you like? Um, I think I like the top right. I was thinking about that one too. Um, and I also like the bottom left. But the top right is like Let's try big top drama. right, yes. Yeah. Da, da, da. And we have our sky. Let's see. I love that so much. Um, just to make it easier, uh, I like to group stuff. What was that thing called again? The constructive layer thing? I forgot what is it called. Uh, but basically, just like I group and duplicate it and make it to a smart object. Oh yeah, like I I typically yeah. work um, as like in smart objects um, yeah. so that I can edit them later and or and, flatten and this that. one. But I mm -hmm. save like a backup just in case if I if anything I do run, mm -hmm. I just like, okay I need to go back and fix it. Yeah, so, working working non destructively is yes, is the way that to was go. The word. I always forgot about that. See. Sometimes it's it can feel like a mouthful. <laughs> you know, it's a I I forget the phrase as well. Let's see, it should be able to select uh, my sky. There you go. Yeah, the reason why I flattering it is just because I want to isolate the sky and replace the background. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, like, it's easier to do this compared to like, if they're like two separate layers, right? Because we did replace the center part of the tree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I can mask it. I like the song you're writing for us as you um, work. I do the same thing, like, as I'm working, especially if I'm live streaming, I'd be like, and then I need the brush to do my thing. we gotta do this. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need some emojis in the chat from all of you folks at home who also sing little songs while you're working um, on your projects. Do you guys sing as you select different tools? Um, how does that work? And if you have another, like, you know, interesting little quirk that you only do when you're illustrating, let us know what it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's awesome. We got Cody Bear in the chat. Hello, Cody Bear. We also got Chia um, in the YouTube chat. And then um, we have a lot more friends over Hello. on the Behance chat still oh, chatting yeah, up. Oh, yeah, we're on Behance, right? I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, Stefan is like, there are really so many possible approaches to this kind of workflow. Um, and I think you're absolutely right, uh, Stefan. There's so many directions that you could go. And it is such that you really can like let your um, little dream run wild. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and kind of go whatever direction you want to. Perfect. Okay. 
So I think this works. So remember, like right now, we're just making like kind of like sketch mood board,、mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be perfect,、mm -hmm. but it's still good to like make it look as real as possible, right?、Mm -hmm. So I think the 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 sunset works is because the light comes from the same source. Yeah.、Um, usually, when I like merge in photo or composite, I like to like try to figure out like okay if. Light source is coming from the same place, and、mm -hmm. it's easier to merge them together, make it look as real, like、yeah. with that. So they're both coming from that direction, right?、Mm -hmm. So it's just like it's something you can fix after. So that's why I'm matching and merging the light right here,、mm -hmm. and expanding the top.、So、I, I did、cool. think that too, like when you generated those, how awesome it was that there was those similar elements、mm -hmm. um, in the in the image. Oh, sorry. Let's see where is. Aha! There you are. I really like using these tools. But,、mm -hmm. uh, there you go. The new update. I'm just like,、oh, what was the name of it again? There you go. So now I'm just kind of changing the tone a little bit, trying to match that.、Uh, usually, I use what is this tool called again? The、um, color. The、balance. color balance.、Mm -hmm. Yes, the color balance.、Um, so I use for highlight to change, like you know the. The two on the highlight of it,、mm -hmm. like ideally, I just want to match it as closest to the background. Yeah.、Um, but usually, you can just use midtone, and there's like some other technique you can do. I like to use the select color too. That goes even like more individually into like the the shadow, the highlight, and then the midtone、um, to match up it.、Mm -hmm. But I think I'm just gonna do a quick adjustment right here. All right. So what else we're adding here? Let's see. A surreal dream world. Hmm. I need something like completely different, like out of box. Like totally, like to make this look like not a normal forest. Right. Yeah. So of, in my work,、know. I like to make different layers、mm -hmm. on it. Right. So by that means, like, first of all, you have this first world. Let me、mm -hmm. use the world. This is like the layer one. It's like、mm -hmm. the regular forest and ground. And layer two is where the cloud and then like the fire and sunset come from, right?、Mm -hmm. So on top of here, now I have all this space.、Um, it could be to a different place, right? Yeah, like what if there's what if there's、um, we could do like manta rays, but they're swimming through the sky instead of. Like the, could, the water,、right? something like that. You mean、yeah. like like some kind of otherworldly element? So it's like almost like tiers of different worlds. Like that could be cool.、Um, something I always think that that looks really cool when it's like something that's supposed to be swimming in the ocean, but is、mm -hmm. actually like in the air is kind of neat. But you could also do like a building. Like maybe there's a floating castle in the sky. Could be interesting.、Um, what do you guys think, Chad? Something、Jet? there, a castle. I、like different realm. Thank you、Let's、for singing. Stars. Honestly, that kind of looked cool because the the sky is like such a large portion of that. It's like two thirds. You could do like a doorway into another world. Yeah. Floating in the sky, right there. I think we want to do the gate, right? Yeah,、Or、that could be cool. Let's see. So I think one cool thing we can do is like by bring a different color contrast into it.、Mm -hmm. So maybe something blue or dark blue.、Mm -hmm. So that's why going here to see like if we type like nice stars in sky, it will like make something that I can blend on top of it. Yeah, yeah.、Um, It's kind of fade.、See. Those are beautiful. Let's see. Let's kind of refresh this. We gotta find something really cool and merge together. Um, also, we did get a lot of、um, emojis in the chat,、um, in the Behance <laughs> chat, from people who also sing、um, as they illustrate. I don't know about y'all, but I do a little bit of a groove sometimes when I'm really feeling what I'm creating. You know, I get yeah, a little, get a little, little ditty. Little <laughs> I mean, we usually usually always play some music in the background. Oh yeah, for know, sure. Yeah. Gotta have tunes. Gotta have vibes.、Um, Kevin is saying, "Looks、mm. like Alaska. Awesome." We can try Northern Light. Is that how you spell it? Yeah, the Northern Lights.、Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then also we have、um, uh, Stephen、uh, Friedman in the chat as well. I don't know. I can't remember if I greeted you or not, Stephen. But welcome in. Thank you for hanging out with us today.、Um, yeah, that could be. Oh yeah. Let's try it. I gotta figure out how to merge it, but I think we can do it. Challenge it accepted. Da -da -da. Andrea says, "Speaking like Bob Ross while using the brush to oh yeah, <laughs> just paint some happy little trees, y'all. You know, you know. 
Mm, I'm gonna try this. So last time I tried to merge two different photos together. I know like I have to give it like a little bit different gap. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna expand the canvas a little bit and then just to see if this will work. Okay. So basically I'm gonna put this about here. And let's see. If I select here in gen fill, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to give it like more distance and gap in between. But you don't have to type any, key well, you could type like different keywords, but you don't mm -hmm. have to. Um, so let's see if this will work. Drum roll, please. Please. I think it could be really interesting. Oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. That's like a portal up there. Oh, 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 oh wait. Oh, wait. This, that I like was good. this one. Okay, so let's talk that about this. That looks a little yeah. more like natural, like if you, you know, like it kind of it has a nice blend to yeah, it. Yeah, so, Oof. stay down there. So I personally like this one a lot because as you say, right, these mm -hmm. blend in almost as real as possible. Like mm -hmm. everything is good. Like the blend is perfect. Mm -hmm. However, I also like this one because it has that portal yeah, gap in yeah. the middle, you know? Yeah, like something's so, arriving, and we were talking about putting something in the sky yeah. that's a little otherworldly. This definitely screams otherworldly Wait, portal. well, that chat pick, I know there's like 30 second delay. So yeah. option one is this one with, with a little the portal. portal in the center. Option two is the perfectly nice blending sky that have different mood that we can keep building on the top. What, so what do, do we want think? portal or blend, yeah. folks? Let I'm us know in the chat. I'm kind of leaning toward to this. I am leaning towards that now that you've kind of explained your process for yeah. how you'd approach it. Um, but let us know if you guys have a preference in the chat. Um, if you know. guys like the blend or if you guys like the portal. Um, I vote that Ted goes with whatever one <laughs> his heart starts leaning towards, but definitely let us know your um, your opinion on it because if you guys see something and you're like, I gotta see this one, you know. I'm leaning toward you this, but if you guys change my mind, I'll mm -hmm. also switch to the other one. Pitch us a reason for using the blend one instead of the portal one. Um, <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, I think that. <laughs> um, I didn't think much about. Sorry those. to put you on the spot, chat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm gonna go with the portal because on this one, like, this is very nice. Mm -hmm. But then, um, when sometimes when something's too perfect, it's hard for me to add stuff on top of it because I don't want to yeah. mess up the beauty of it. Yeah, right? that's so. I'm just true. like, oh man, this looks like so good already. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really want to add anything to it, and I'll be like forcing. Can relate. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but with this one, I'm just like, okay, there's there's more space to play with and there's like different thing I can do. Yeah, because it poses um, a question, right? Like yeah. what comes out of the the portal? You know, what what happens after this? Um, Oops, Carol Pearl is is coming in saying combine them both. Um, Frank is uh, uh, hanging out in the chat with us. Let's say, let me see. Ooh. Yeah, talking oh. about just really liking both of these. Umicorn Ooh. says it's so pretty, but it would be scary if it were real, and that is 100% true. Hold on. I gotta save this just in case. Oh, yeah. Everybody save your work. Always take save your a work. moment. Yeah, take a moment to sip some water, save your work, maybe stretch your hands, you know, <laughs> stay healthy. In my yes. yes. <laughs> do you watch we, TikTok or not really? No, I don't usually. I, 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 I watch like Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts, and TikTok, I've seen TikToks, but yeah. like. It's just a lot of memes that like. I get reference to, but oh, if you don't watch sorry. it, then you wouldn't get it. They're just one like, like, convince so you like, <laughs> wink, and they give you a thumbs up. But anyway, um, well, okay. <laughs> so we have the top layer, the sky built, everything's good. So now we have the uh, not ability, the the space. Now mm -hmm. we can work on the foreground, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I know on the very two stream before, we turned that, we put a lake onto mm -hmm. it with the we did. Uh, reflection. So what should we put on there? So, lake, ocean? what are you guys, what are you guys thinking would in chat? I, I think ocean could be interesting. I would say more like lake because typically when I think oh, of. I want a waterfall. Oh, that would be or cool. Like a, that could be like a, if you're going to remove the grass, those trees could drop off into a cliff and there could be water pouring down. I gotta try this. Like the um, waterfall pours also off. So, what cliff. are those uh, when the meteor hit the ground? Those like giant holes? The craters? Yeah, yeah, yeah the like craters crater. could be cool. Let's try oh, both. Yeah, We're gonna try yeah. both. Yeah. So, pretty much like with the fantasy world building, just like go crazy, you know? Because mm -hmm. you wanna be like as dramatic as possible. Like, mm -hmm. um, it's more fun for me to merge two different kind of things together. That doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. to like 
compared to like, oh, just building on the same world, right? Yeah. So, um, um, somebody actually brought up something really interesting. Frank says that with that dramatic sunset behind the trees, it kind of makes it look like the trees are on fire. Mm -hmm. So your idea of a crater, like something has crash landed ah, on the planet. that could work. Yeah, because then you have, so you have like the forest is like, there's kind of fire happening. There's this crater in the front that leads you to be like, what mm. the heck has <laughs> crash landed, you know? Um, I don't know what that little orange mean. <laughs> we could just maybe what just to retry. Oh wait, hold on. Let me see. Cause maybe, maybe I have to merge all of this. Oh yeah. I would yeah, I would usually I'll yeah. duplicate it or make it a smart object, but yeah, test that out. Wait, this is not because okay, you might have tried to do it on something. A blank where, layer. Yeah. I think I maybe I did a blank layer. Okay. Uh waterfall? Let's try waterfall real quick. I want to see. Yeah, yeah. Let me break it out. Let's say, oh, crater, crater. How do you spell crater? Is it um, C R A T E R. Okay. I think. It's Adobe Live about to become Adobe Studio <laughs> Spelling. <It's> Adobe <laughs> Spelling. I am. It's. I, I. I feel bad for you because I am an abysmal speller. I cannot. I have a great I imagination, <laughs> but not great grammar skills and spelling skills. <laughs> so. Damn. These you're not gonna really get any help cool. from me. <laughs> yeah, that is good. awesome, actually. How it like brings, oh, like the water coming down the tree, from the trees down mm. into it. I feel like though, if that's gonna be what we go with, you will have to work your magic and make like some of what's in the scene kind of reflect in that water a little bit. What if I, what if I just like the middle of it and type waterfall? I just, I just want to try this out real quick. You know? Okay. But the cool idea I just come up with like, the waterfall could be coming from, from the, the cloud. Sky? It's forming from the cloud, clouderfall. Okay. And then Clouder down to the, <laughs> to the bottom that merged to the fog and mm -hmm. then turn into water. That would be super cool. Obviously that didn't work, but you guys get the visual reference yeah. idea, yeah. right? Yeah. Because the whole thing the is like, oh, idea. something doesn't make sense, but also makes sense at the same time. You know? Oh, oh, oh. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> that, what if you, like, you could put a portal on the up top there, of in it. there, yeah, we and could. it's like pouring out. I like that one a lot. I'm oh. sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, good. See, this, this is why it's so fun, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so it did work. I wasn't crazy. Mm -hmm. yes, but yes. Before we go that far, I still want to put a crater on the at the bottom of it. Yeah, let's, let's do a little experimentation Dang. because it does kind of tell a story if there's a crater. Like you have maybe you could put a spaceship in the sky. C R A T E R crater. Oh, I I'm also blocking my typing, so that's perfect. You guys won't know if I spell anything wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll, I'll put it out here so everybody can see it. Because I think when I was typing waterfall, they didn't see it. You mm. know? So maybe I type something else. Maybe I type We have no clouderfall. idea. Clouderfall. Well, no. clouderfall. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag clouderfall. Is that a word? Does that even It is sense? now. It is now. We it spoke now. it into existence. Exactly. It, it is begun. Building your imaginary world and yes. word. Huh. Yeah. Oh, that's If we really can cool. make whole words this? up, we can, you're, you know, we can make our own words. It's like a latte. That's, it's like a water whirlpool, Chocolate almost. Cake. You could, ooh. I actually like, I was, like, when I see this, I was thinking about the, the hot, was it hot spring in the Yellowstone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, what the, are those um, uh, Hot springs, the geysers, like the, mm, there's a word for it. Uh, yellow, not tello, Yellowstone, how do you spell it? Check, check for me. How do you spell? Guy. I don't know if Yellowstone will come up in in Firefly though. I think that you'll probably get yellow rocks. Let's try it. Okay. So yellow national um, park. Uh, how do you spell the guys in? Uh, N A. I'm gonna have to Google it. I know. I'm I was so like, yeah, go, go I, away like, from me while I, can I, spell I while it. I stalk I, the chat. <laughs> yeah, I can spell okay if I'm like writing. You know, but not when I'm like, someone's like, all right, go. Uh, I just type blue lake N -A -T -I -O -N -A -L. thing. N-A-T-I-O-N-A-L. No, no, the geyser. Oh, like the how geyser. To spell. <laughs> I know how to spell national. Okay. There you go. Thank you. I know how to spell national, okay? I don't know. I was trying to help you out. I was trying to help you, Ted. We got it. We got it. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> what if we 
got the different geyser. Like, instead of the blue lake, then you become the water shooting. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, like, that's not what... I, oh, see? This is perfect. There we go. This thing, in, in case you guys don't know what we're talking about. Okay. I like this one, but this one doesn't blend that well. But this one blends too well, but I don't like what's in the middle of it. Well, we could merge it. I know, but anyway, else yeah. In the middle of it, Cause that's cool. I like that. That looks like magical. And I wonder if I magical. put that back in, you know? Yeah. And just kind of blend Man, them. It doesn't really make any sense, but we're not here to make sense, guys. Nah, that's too cheesy. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe a crater. Well, cause, but I really like that. You spill. like that one? Yeah. Maybe we'll go with this one. But I just wanted to see what this looked like. Ooh. Cause like something really cool is like from here you can go with like the surrealism style that mm -hmm. um, you can go find a photo of a eyeball or mm -hmm. iris and then you can just put it here and then make it like an eye that's like looking, looking into there, right? Yeah. So um, that's something really fun to do too. Um, but if we're going with this, so now we need a portal. Mm -hmm. you say what kind of portal? It could be like an archway. I feel like you know a, an archway of clouds Arch with like. Way. Portal. I feel like the portal should contrast with the colors of the rest of the scene. You know, like we have Blowing. some dark, like Blue. somber. Portal. Yeah. Like sun, like we have like dark somber colors <laughs> in the scene. So yeah. maybe something bright, you know, yeah. and opposite to the colors. If present. this doesn't work, I think there's a, there's an easier trick that I have up in my sleeve that um, we can make a real quick portal. Um, <laughs> Ooh, that's honestly kind of what I imagined a little. Oh, I oh. like that one with the quarter turn. That one's really good. Doesn't yeah. look real, but it looks good. But um, we could spice it up. We can work with this. Yes. So what are we going to do is that we're going to select this part, and then we're going to create a new layers, and then we're just going to create a uh, pen with blue. Bam. And then, uh, sorry, going, I'll go a little bit slow. Go for screen lighting. Okay. No, maybe we'll just go with this and... There you go, like what, Gossam Blur, ba 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 ba. I need to put it on the top. Wait, it is on the top though. Hmm. Might just need to be, yeah. Because I was trying to make it glow, but uh, oh, I need to be I, darker. So cool. We can just put something else in there. Yeah, we could, you know, generate another scene or, you know. Yeah, just or I don't like that portal at all, so I'm just gonna make a new one. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> it's like, it's perfect, but not like perfect, perfect. First you get rid of my portals, then you criticize the words I try to help you spell. <laughs> like, I <laughs> awkward phase. <laughs> well, what I was thinking is that if that doesn't work, we can just do like something like that, right? What if you just do cloud portal? Cloud portal? Would to that work? A, yeah, we could try it. Because I was just thinking that, oh, we did the classic looking circle portal thing. <laughs> But if it's like, <laughs> you know, when you like paint it if, over that now. What yeah. what if what if mm. it is like a circular portal, but instead of just the water coming out of it, what if you have like a flock of birds pouring out of it too? Almost like a, another place is pouring into. I, know. I think like know? yeah, first we need to make like an entryway, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like the archway or something, and mm -hmm. then you can generate a different world I'm and put it ahead. behind it. <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I kind of still like that, you know. <laughs> it's also it's also cool. Like, there's just know, a lot I of possibilities. Like this, yeah, I know. What if, uh, what should we put? Actually, I really like, there's like water here, yeah. you know. You know that's what, like, okay, Those I like reflections, thinking. those are really cool. So, is it a reflection, or what if the waterfall that's spilling, what if that's closer to the top, and instead of generating more space above it, we generate another, like, underworld underneath where that water is going? Mm. That could work, too. Like, they're, like that water's not, not reflected. It's pouring down beneath mm -hmm. the world to someplace else, like an underground cave or I an like underground it. city. Yeah. You know, ooh. 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 That's close enough. I was thinking something like that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, can I erase this? Just like, eh. 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 Could put something in there. 
<laughs> the beta version was not opening by default. I just prompted for two graphic designers doing a live stream while the zombie apocalypse <laughs> plays out in the background. Uh, Interesting results, to say the least. Oh, I'll bet. I will bet. I think I know something about this I didn't like mm -hmm. is that um, the idea and concept is really cool. But for me, this thing is too orange. Tone. Yeah, it could it's be too yeah, orange in yeah. front for me, you know, mm -hmm. that took away the, the back of it. And that's why I prefer this better with the contrast. Because it has that yeah. nice color. And they're opposites there, kind of, you know, so like getting that blue and orange, you know, yeah. kind of contrast but, a little bit. But you could just, you, you know, we could transform it to a blue. Right? Yeah, 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 make it a make it a more, ooh. You can throw in like preset to offset that. That, color. that almost like with the changing of the values, it looks like those that archway is then nestled in amongst the clouds. You know, just the, the changing of it was, was very interesting there. Yeah. Okay, anyway, well, that's the first one. I think we have another time for the second one, maybe. <laughs> Cody knee. says, Cody says, whoever's on the other side of that portal, let them know I think they have a leak in their basement. Say, <laughs> 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 like, hey, um, there's a leak going on. I feel oh. like there should be, this is from Melissa. Yes. I feel like there should be a water slide with Val and Ted living their best lives sliding into Wee. the magic. Honestly, if it was possible to do, I would invite you. Absolutely. You know, if we could. I, it's yeah, my world. Be, I'm going. <laughs> I'm just that's kidding. true. Oh, that's true. This is it is so his cool. World. Look at this. Whoever generated <gasps> this. That's amazing. Because you can put like a little house on the top. You know what it looks like? It looks like the close up pictures of like cells and yeah. like um, bacteria, but as like a normal sized thing. I was trying to go back to that glowing tree thing I first opened when we saw that. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'm jumping back into the Firefly just to like, you know, like let's make a new world, right? I want to think, oh, like this is really cool. I like yeah. this one a lot. Ooh. Yeah. So we can like. Can we go there? Or, like, I love this. Let's go there. This gonna, is like a super cool. I'm just gonna borrow your world. Yeah, this is like a, like a <laughs> Thank you, future so resort. This person's world? <laughs> yes. We're coming to visit your imagination world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think they mind. I think that's what it's there for. I hope they don't mind, you know. We promise we'll live everything just how it is when we return to our home base. Uh-huh. And putting that on the top. Okay, what do we want to do to this person's dream world? I feel like the first thing we gotta do is give it a more dramatic sky. Like I feel like I the sky so above too. it needs a little more depth and it's gotta be a little more boom, dun, dun, dun. you know? Okay, well let's see. We could go back and select sky. You don't maybe, have to do this, you can do the selection tool. You something know? dark. Like a like receding into uh I was gonna say receding into stars, but I mean like oh, oh, we can oh. put a tornado if you uh, want to. Maybe stars. <laughs> Starry <laughs> night. Uh long wait. Photography? Photography. Yeah, like nebula. Oh, nebula would be really cool. Yeah, like kind of going up. Cause like that's what, you know, like can you imagine like going to like a evening party on that, you know, on the deck Ooh. there and there's like the, oh. ooh. I feel like what? maybe like. This one's weird, but I like crazy. it. That's crazy. I like this one. Whatever yeah. That. Let's go with that one. This is, this is the portal where it, we come from. Like It ooh. works really cool with the color that's already in the I know. water. Nice. I like it. I think it's interesting. Yeah. So when I first started like my artist journey, mm -hmm. you know, what I do is just like study a lot of like different artists that I like or mm -hmm. like artwork that I find interesting or like trying to figure out like why do I like it? You know, what's mm -hmm. what's the elements that they all have in common, right? Um, so with Firefly, it's like the whole website, you have everybody's prompt on there. It's mm -hmm. really, I really suggest you to like go play with their prompt and visit yeah. their imaginary world, right? Mm -hmm. Then like play and then like adding your own elements and touch onto it and then make it something like to like to yours. Yeah, right? like elaborate on, build upon yeah. something that somebody has done because um, you never know like how far you can take it, what yeah. might happen. But so. uh, obviously, right, this is just practice, so mm -hmm. this will never be used for any commercial business license. Yes, right? yes you're, indeed. You're not just gonna copy an artist's work mm -hmm. and take it and then to, you know, 
Right. But but using those that are on the front page is kind of interesting because at, at least you, you can also go through and see like if you like the kinds of things that people are generating, what do those prompts look like? Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes when I look around at that front page, I think to myself, like, I would never even have thought to describe what I was looking for in this way. And so now I have more inspiration for the next time I try to hunt for the thing, you know, to generate something that I'm looking for, I can express myself better in the um, in the prompt. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So there's a lot of copyright Ooh. stuff that we need to understand, but look at this. This is fun. That's really interesting. Ooh. I, I like really it. like that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, kind of. I like it. I but like it, I like it, but I like it for a different genre. It is. You know what I mean? Like that's, it seems like like fantasy gothic kind of, you know? Um, Cause I want, I want whatever I was trying to generate to fit into that yeah, portal, like, you know? So what I'm gonna do is trying to select. Select the shape of it. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna press Q and I can enter in this mold, uh, it's like an inverted mm -hmm. mask. Yeah, that works, that works. Yeah, and then when I press Q again, uh, sorry, I'm gonna invert it back. By the way, Melissa is saying, I have a prompt guide collection, really helps. That's cool to, you know, keep track of prompts that you've used or maybe prompts that people have shared with you. There you go. Ooh, that definitely looks like it's, you know, we could add some more dramatic um, stars and like stuff around it, clouds maybe. Yeah, so. To kind of, you know, really blend it in. Wait, sorry, I think there's a weird setting on my brush. You might have clear pressed, maybe? No, it's on. Oh, are you you're painting on the mask? Yeah, yeah, no, oh. I'm on the mask. I'm trying to figure out if it's touching more than what I need to do, but anyway, it's fine. So I think uh, what oh, I'm I think gonna I do is I'm just gonna mistook which layer yeah, you were yeah, working yeah. on. That's fine. I'm trying to make it blend it slightly better. That's kind of cool. Yeah, like kind of like a, a hidden world. Well, I like the idea, but mm -hmm. obviously not that weird Monta looking <laughs> thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's cool to play with the concepts. Yeah. yeah. So we have like 10 minutes left, is it? Um, yeah, we have about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. So um, if anybody in chat has any last minute questions that they wanna discuss and go over, yeah. definitely let us know. Now would be a great time. Um, and what else do we got? Yeah, so, well, I guess I'll go over the process for now, right? So mm -hmm. now you come up with all of this mood board and then sketches and concept idea, like how do you turn this to your artwork, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me, I love, I, well, I'm known for like doing the photo composite and Photoshop, right? Mm -hmm. So I need to go figure out where to find these mountains and trees and oceans and then like use um, like the Adobe stock, right? Mm -hmm. To like find the exactly similar looking thing and then to like Photoshop it back together yeah, to replace yeah. the whole thing, right? Um, so for starter, right? If, if I'm doing this one, I'll go look for like a swamp Mm -hmm. um, or like a, a green for the bottom layer. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see if I type like swamp. I don't know if this will show, but hopefully it does. Uh, image, oh, photos. So like something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Like this is perfect. I love that, yeah. To oh, like yeah. replace the front of it. Oh yeah. Right? And then I need to go find a forest on the top, which it has this one that's mm -hmm. similar you can use but you would type like a, a, a sunset forest and then to replace the tree. And then uh, for the cloud, then you need to either go find like sunset surreal dramatic cloud, mm -hmm. or um, this one looks like real enough for me with the high texture, so you can kind of like get away with it, mm -hmm. especially if it's like a distance, so it's like meant to be slightly blurred, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about it. And then you would go find like northern light on here uh, to put it on the top of that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. So you put these and then you can like blending onto the top. Right? Yeah. So now I turn this to my um, style and artwork. Same with this, right? This is this one is gonna be kind of difficult. So uh, my breakdown would be like finding like palm tree, beach, island, mm -hmm. uh, maybe like little islands and rocks to mm -hmm. build the bottom of it and then look for like luxury house or like at night yeah. to put that blend into the, uh, the rocks right mm -hmm. there, right? So then to break it down, it would just be like, first you want to find the um, the ocean, right? You want to like build that further layer for me. So mm -hmm. it's like build the background. So you find the ocean, 
and you get the star, right? Mm -hmm. And from t uh, and then you go on to like find these islands and trees, and then the rock. Then you put the trees around there, and from there you build this in. So you spend like the details painting on top of that. Mm -hmm. However, if you know how to use like 3D, you know, Blender yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you could design you know, a cool building. You can actually just build this yeah. and render it and then put it back in there. It would be like way easier and faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and from there, you're just like, okay, now I just need to figure out how to make this sky, which will be, I'll probably use black background with like stars mm -hmm. and then northern light to create the loop because yeah. if you find if you put northern light on um, blending mode to screen on the top it's like easier to glow mm -hmm. and then you create a different layer onto that and uh using the uh, lookify tool yeah yeah and kind of push it yeah. and pull it around a little mm -hmm. bit get a little organic and then the final world you put um the other stylers in there mm -hmm. to make glow so that's my breakdown right yeah yeah, yeah. absolutely um i think what's really interesting about this is like how much of it um like your process of really concepting it out and then what you would go find. Um, and I also really liked about what you said um, before because like hearing you talk about it and like realizing how true it is when I look at your work is like you really do have like tears in your pieces where there's like almost like three worlds blended together, like something in the front, something in the middle mm -hmm. and like watching yeah. you put it together is really, um, inspiring. It definitely makes me want to try it. Like I want yeah. to try to make, yeah. you know. Um, I, I, I wonder um, what it would be like to do like uh, a widescreen kind of to like what it would make if we if we brought it out to the side uh, as for well. Which one? For, for, for either of them but this one honestly maybe the other one too because the other one might put more stuff in the background we um, could. since see. it's pretty close to the edges. That could be really fun. Oh yeah, we have some time. Let's just do it. Yeah, because we have. Um, Might go with this. About ten minutes. That's pretty good, right? Well, less than ten minutes, maybe like eight minutes. Less than ten minutes. The pressure is real. Just feels panicking. That's uh, very relatable. That's the inside of my brain every time I'm coming to the end of the stream, for sure. <laughs> ah! Like the SpongeBob meme of him running around in his brain. <laughs> Ooh. It's a portal kind of day, Sam says. Look at Ooh. This. Oh no. This is so fun. That is Look so at it. good. <gasps> oh, this oh, is yeah. like the dream vacation getaway. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Thank you, Firefly and Jim Phil. Look at I love this that one. That is super cool. It almost is like a planet. Like you're at the edge of the world. You're not just I out know. on the on the okay, water okay. at night. You're at the edge of the planet at night. I got it. Very exclusive do this club. One. I gotta do this one. <laughs> yeah, let's let's go for it. Just blend it all. Blend it out. Well, you hopefully. do a 12 by 5 ratio so you can um, pan across three images seamlessly on Instagram. That would be Ooh, cool. Oh, that's true. Yeah, hopefully like this. A three panel. I don't know if this was simple, the, the layers that's behind it. You know, the outside the box here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. It could so. be. It I was going to make it, it too could. long, so it's like taking a. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> A maze. I love that. I love, ooh, I like, I think that one's my favorite. Wait, honestly. this one ooh, or no, that one? no, that one. Like, this one is cool because it has that other stuff, but you could combine some of them. This I one like is the great. sky of this, mm -hmm. but the tree line on this composition. It that, leads the eye from like has the foreground eyes, like, into, yeah. yeah, it definitely leads the, yeah. the viewer for sure. Yeah, so during COVID, you know, um, I spent a lot of time online hanging out with uh, some of my uh, internet artist friends. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are illustrators, some of them are like new artists, or mm -hmm. some of them are like expert in mm -hmm. their field, you know. Um, so I like to ask them like to give me critiques and like some like cool ideas, because I, I didn't really come with like uh, an illustrator background. Mm -hmm. So um, they gave me a lot of like cool tips, you know, like um, the leading line, how you want to like hide those in, in the art, you yeah, know. Yeah. I mean, you probably learn those in the art class too, but mm -hmm. it's really refreshing to uh, learn again from different artists and then how they're understanding onto it. So yeah, like a one, different discipline using yeah. that information. And we both like this one because, you know, it's just not flat. Mm -hmm. Like, keep your eyes like, just like, oh, this is like good, but it's not dramatic. Yeah, but like this it's one, beautiful, yeah. but the other one takes you on an adventure. Because yeah. what I'm thinking when I look at this one, because the taller trees, my eyes go there and follow it down, mm -hmm. I'm thinking what's around the corner. 
you know, yeah. what is farther down, you know, the road as it recedes into the distance. So, um, oh, I have a cool idea. Yeah. And just like the, the negative space mm -hmm. in your canvas, right? Okay, I'm gonna see if I have time to do the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we've got about uh, five uh, minutes wait, left. Wait. Um, Christopher uh, is here in the chat, wait. by the way, that says it looks uh, beautiful. Wow. Um, let me see. How does the AI do with typos? Um, we've been okay so far. <laughs> we've been okay. Hey, we've been uh, all right. Yeah, you see me. Yeah. Can can spell anything right. But we're surviving. So then, wait, can I can I make this happen? Uh, uh, combine I, it. I, I, You're I good. You still it. you have 15. It has it has not even been a whole oh. minute since I told you you had five minutes. Oh. <laughs> You're good. Just speed run this. You I'm know. sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean to rush you. Uh, um, uh, Stefan says I uh, heard Edge of the Planet <laughs> earlier. Flat. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, because this one does look kind of like the edge of the planet a little bit. Um, yeah. It does have like that kind of feel because that, you know, formation over on the right side does look like a planet kind of cresting the side um, in a way. You know, like, can you like merge these two worlds together out, out of curiosity, you know? Probably, yeah. I don't know if this will break Ooh. it, but notice that um, this is something you can do with like two completely different photo. Yeah. Um, just leave a gap and then just, you know, Blend let the AI take care of the work for you. Yeah. But yeah, this is so fun, you know? When I you know. like, the great idea just to expand this side way looks so much different and then you can just continue to keep building it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's also fun just to like, oh wow. Oh, sorry. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. Like, hey. There's a lot of possibility. There's almost look like whales jumping out of the water. I know, right? The shape of it. What about yeah. this one? Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one I like. That one. That one? No. This one. Yes. Let's see. If that one. Like upside down. Yeah. Because it matches. It's got the you know, like the lighting that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would oh, say this man. one. Look at it, just like yeah, like that stars. That it looks like the ocean wave. That yeah, portal just merging to up. a different world. Oh yeah, oh. this is where I lose my head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Look at this. That's amazing. Wait, hold on. I love it. Um. Um, Sam Peterson says the canvas expansion is always really impressive. Yeah, I agree. Right. It's just kind of like almost forgot mind the blowing firefight logo. It's, oh it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I don't even think you can read. It. Oh yeah, I'd read firefight. Oh, you generated Perfect. part of it, so it's not like <laughs> anymore. <laughs> no, it, it saves it. You fireflied the firefly warning. No, it's right here. It's Adobe Firefly. Perfect. The logo's still there. <laughs> All right, we have got um, just a couple of minutes left here. Um, this is amazing. I hope that we get to see some of these um, maybe like highlights from the stream um, on social media so that we can take a closer look. It would be really cool. Um, if uh, you have, you know, if you wanted to let us know where we can follow you online, um, definitely let the audience know and everything. Because if you guys aren't following Ted, if you're not checking out Ted's little dream every day, um, you're missing out. You really are. Uh, we can get some the link to your Instagram in the chat, actually. But is there any place else aside from that Instagram that you um, want us to check out? Oh, I think it's Instagram mainly and my website. Mm -hmm, if you're interested mm -hmm. to uh, support me, um, so but yeah, mainly just Instagram. Um, building my other platform on YouTube and TikTok and uh, Behance too. I haven't updated yeah. it, but look at this. Just keep keep That's it going, insane. you know. Yeah. We can just keep going and just, just see like how if we can break this thing. By the time like oh, <laughs> that's amazing. That's like a sea monster back there. I know. Thank I you, whoever it. made that little. I love that island one thing, so you know. much. Yeah. So so much. That's my favorite one so far. I just even look in this is yeah. so fun, you know. This is great. Um, I don't want to take out. <laughs> we're gonna start gawking at this, and then we're gonna get cut off at the end. So we <laughs> okay, are yeah. gonna have to take off um, pretty soon. But Sam Peterson has um, the links to Ted's website, uh, the Ted Ted's Little Dream dot com, and the Ted's Little Dream 
Instagram um, in the chat if you would like to take a look. Give Ted a follow. You will not regret it. Um, it's one of my favorite accounts. Also, oh, um, I will point out, you have been doing some really fabulous reels recently, too. Oh, yes. Helping us discover other um, creatives uh, yes, yes, as well. Yes, so, yes. love so, it. <laughs> on my Instagram, every Friday, I feature five artists that doesn't matter how big their audience is, mm -hmm. um, and include like photography, illustrator, painter, mm -hmm. composite like me, or sculpture, or anybody, you know. So just follow me, tag me there, and or suggest me any artist you want to see, and I feature them every Friday on my Instagram. The last one went viral, got like nice. 300,000 views or something. What? So it's really helping the other artists yeah. with my platform, you know. Oh, so, that's yes. amazing, that's amazing. Well, um, yeah, definitely give him a follow, and we will we'll see you guys another time, I'm sure. Yes, you know? hopefully. So. And then eventually I want to be able to like shout artists out yeah. on this live stream <laughs> too, you know. We make our work based on your art. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you around the vent. Bye. Adios, everybody.